Two of New Zealand's greatest ever rowers, Mahe Drysdale and Hamish Bond, are facing tough calls over their future after the men's eight missed out on Olympic qualification at the World Champs in Austria. The drama came on a thrilling final day, which saw the women's eights make history to book a spot at the Tokyo Games. Christina Eddy has more. But it's the black boat of New Zealand. Achieving a feat never done before. They take the gold medal. We couldn't have planned it better. Um, we really targeted certain races, which helped us come the end of the week. And yeah, we're just thrilled with how it came out. Prendergast now a double world champion with Kerry Gala at a regatta dominated by the women, responsible for five of the six Kiwi medals. On Hugh and Lowe from New Zealand, world champions again. But the failure of the men's eight. New Zealand miss out Olympic qualifying place at the back of the field. Could mean a shake up for some of the other male crews. Rowing New Zealand's yet to decide whether to give the eight a second chance at Tokyo qualification. But if it's a no, the likes of double Olympic gold medalist Mahe Drysdale and Hamish Bond could look elsewhere. A lot will, will rely on the athletes themselves. Eric Murray expects the competition to heat up with only three men's boats qualified. I've been there myself in a position where you have a whole group of people and you're just fighting it out to get into that Olympic spot. Single scholar Robbie Manson might be nervous despite snatching Olympic qualification in the B final. I think there's quite a few people that could potentially be in the single spot. Both Mahe, Robbie and Hamish who are very good scholars. The next six months set to be telling for the men. The Kiwi women's prospects at Tokyo, however, appear much brighter. Christina Eddy, News Hub.